Look at that glow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I feel like a this couple. I love it. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. The other day on Instagram, I had posted three looks that got so much attention. So I posted on Instagram again and I said, which ones you want to see first? And a lot of you requested this very simple, everyday, bronzy, glowy look. I don't know what to call it yet. Hopefully I think of a really cool name. I think this is something that is very Kylie Jenner inspired, but it's also a very easy to go to look for every single day. Um, I definitely call this my go-to look. I nail it every time. It's so pretty and it's very structured. I really like the way my brows turned out today. Um, so I'm just having a good day, you know? And the glow is just out of this world. I can't wait for you guys to watch it. It's incredibly simple, so don't get overwhelmed. I try my best to break these tutorials down into kind of everyday words, I guess. Make it very simple for you guys to follow. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm completely self-taught, so I understand what it's like to start out not knowing one dang thing about this makeup world. Um, Oh, by the way, I'm filming at the Ipsy studio this week. I'm incredibly nervous, but look out for that video coming soon. I'm filming tomorrow. Hopefully, I can edit and have it up by Wednesday, but I do have exams this week, so who knows. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, we did hit 6,000 the other day. OMG. I was overwhelmed with joy. And on Instagram, we hit 42,000 followers what a i don't even i don't i have no idea how this is all happening i love you guys so much i wouldn't have all these opportunities um if it wasn't for my followers and my subscribers all of your support loving kindness means so much to me and i hope that you guys always know that i always take my time to remind you every single day how important you guys are to me because without you i just i wouldn't enjoy doing this so Without further ado, don't forget to check down below for all the discount codes because we want to save. And I will have everything you need to know listed down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and let me know what you think. Bye. So I already went ahead and did my eyebrows because you guys know I take forever. And if you are interested in an eyebrow tutorial, which I've been getting, Plenty of requests so I think in the near future I will sit down and really focus and do um, an eyebrow tutorial only for you guys but lately I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I believe is what it's called in the color dark brown been loving this stuff it's so easy to control coverage is great and it's really easy to work with I did splurge a little bit and got the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 pencil which is specifically made for this um, dip brow um, oh my gosh best combination ever I am so excited to do my brows every day now. I'm not as stressed out because it's just so easy to do. So definitely recommend that if you're looking into eyebrows on fleek, get that. Okay, and I already went ahead and moisturized my face. I used Cetaphil lotion as always. And then I primed because these steps are so boring. You don't need to see them. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer been loving this okay we're gonna use the makeup forever hd foundation today i still love this i don't believe i will find anything better what we're gonna do is we are gonna take a little bit on our finger um this is just how i do it and i'm just gonna put one end of my cheek the other end chin forehead and that's all i do for now I like starting out with small little dots. Um, well, I used to dot it all over my face, but now I just do these four. Um, and if I need to build, then I'll build later. I'm using the, my Morphe M439 brush. You guys know I love this brush. If you don't have it, you need to go get it right now. Check the description bar down below, because uh, I might just have a discount code for you guys. Um, and the discount code for, works for everything on morphebrushes.com. Best foundation brush ever. I still like the the E6, the Morphe E6. I think it's still Gucci, but this one is amazing. It buffs everything in, and it's just it's so smooth and gets the work done. So what I do is I pat it into my skin like so, 
So I take those dots that I made and pat it into my skin. Do little mini pats. You're not killing your skin, by the way. Just mini little gentle pats. And this way, you can spread the product all over. Be careful with those brows. If you did your brows before, you don't want to mess those up because, <laughs> honey, that was hard work. So we're just going to gently pat everything in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your awesome M439 brush and you're going to do mini little circles. Gently, though. You don't need to, like, press hard. This brush is amazing. Look, it just buffs everything in. It cuts my foundation time in half. Absolutely love it. I did mention it in my favorites video. If you did not watch that yet, you should go check it out. It's the last, it's the video before this one that you're watching. I love it so much. The bristles at the top are so soft and so smooth and it just blends everything in, yet it has like a good amount of density so it's not like too fluffy. You know what I'm saying? So you just wanna Blend that in. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is highlight slash conceal. I love this stuff. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I love it. I'm in the color Medium Light Neutral. Oh, by the way, in the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, I am N127. That is my shade. Um, so we're gonna take this Urban Decay Naked Concealer and we are just gonna do triangles under our eyes and the bridge of our nose. So I'm using this to highlight but conceal at the same time. You guys know how much I love this concealer. If you have not gotten it already, you need to go out and spend money on it. It is the best concealer I've ever owned, hands down. For the concealer, I did go with a shade in between my actual skin tone and then a shade lighter. Does that make sense? So then I can conceal yet highlight at the same time. You are going to take your beautiful Sephora Beauty Blender and you're just going to blend it all out. One thing I love about this concealer is that it just melts into your skin within seconds and it's not cakey. It's literally so lightweight but it does the job. After my concealer, I've just been going straight in with my Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm using my Morphe Brushes G8 brush. Love this. I'm just going to first pat the powder under my eye. You don't want to swipe first, you just want to set and pat down. And then you want to slowly move out to the other areas. So, pat and then move out. I love this powder. I've been recommending it since I started my YouTube or Instagram and so many of my followers have gone out and gotten the Rimmel Stain Matte Powder and they have told me that it has changed their lives. So, you know, if you don't want to jump on the boat, you should just jump on the boat or the bandwagon. The bag, the wagon. Yeah. The baggin. Yeah, there we go. Jump on the baggin. And then we're going to set up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe E20 brush. I love this brush. You can actually use this brush to blend in your concealer. Awesome for that. Or what I do is I take some of that Rimmel again and I use this to set my eye. I've been doing this for a few weeks now and I noticed that my eye shadows do not crease anymore. I know that there are eyeshadow primers you can go out and spend money on. Okay, if that works for you, you go homie. But what I do is since I already have that foundation and concealer on the lid, I'm just going to take my Rimmel and set all of that and that's just going to give us a smooth and clean surface and it also locks in that eyeshadow throughout the day. And I also take that and work it under the eyes as well. I love, love this brush for it. Absolutely amazing brush. Definitely recommend this. I recommend the whole entire Elite collection. Get it while it's here. I don't know if it's permanent yet. I still have to kind of find out for Morphe brushes, but I really hope the Elite collection is permanent forever. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bronze my face a little bit. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And this is the color... 251 is that what it's called i'm not really sure it's more of a um kind of like a glow rather than severe contouring so i like to go in with this first just to bronze up um the sides of my face first and then i go in with other products to intense that bronzer 
Uh, I use the Morphe E4, another Elite Collection brush. I love the E4. You can use this for contouring or a blush. I love it for contour. So another product that I've been loving that I used in a previous video is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color 021 Sunlight. I love this. These are really good dupes. This one is a little bit more settled and this one you can actually build up and see color. So if you're not willing to spend $36 or $38 on the Makeup Forever, Pro Fusion Bronzer, get this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. It's $4. Take the same E4 brush, dab in a little bit, and I'm just going to really focus where I focused earlier. In the picture, I did use Gerard Cosmetics Marilyn Star Powder. Been loving Marilyn. Marilyn's a really, really pretty color, guys. It's this color right here. It's a very pretty champagne-ish, goldish color. I love this on my skin tone. So if you guys have a skin tone, oh, look at all these little babies trying to get in my camera. On oh, my camera. My tutorial. No. Uh, but if you're, you have my skin tone, um, mm -mm. <laughs> this color is really pretty. Um, check down below because I do have a discount code for you because we all want to save these days. Um, but today, because I got a new highlighter, we're going to use that because I'm obsessed. It's Becca Cosmetics, a uh, collaboration with Jaclyn Hill highlighter. It's called Champagne Pop. How pretty is this color? So what I like to do is I'm going to take Champagne Pop and I'm going to take my favorite highlighting brush. It's the Morphe M401. This brush is out of stock currently. When it is in stock, I will let you guys know. I will post right away on Instagram and Twitter and let you know. But I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to dab a little bit in there. You can dab a lot too if you want. <laughs> and I'm just going to dab away the extra product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work down the highest areas or the highest area of my cheekbone. Yas! Oh my god. <laughs> I need CPR. It's so pretty. Ugh. Yes. Yes, you give it to me, champagne pop. Damn. Dude, oh my god. Let's let me do the other side. So we can have the same experience and satisfaction. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's given to me, alright. Yeah, look at it. Look at it, give to me. Yeah. Guys, this highlighter just wants it today. Yas. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put it on our chin. Just a little bit though. You don't want like a disco ball on your chin. And then what I've been loving lately is putting it on my bridge nose, nose bridge, whatever it's called. And then I've been taking a bronzer and contouring because, you know, I don't really have a nose. But. Ooh, that might be a, been a little too much right there, but what else? Oh, it looks beautiful in pictures. And my cubit bow is always a must. I kid you not. I am such a sucker when it comes to my cubit bow. This is the reason why my lip products always look good and my lips look pouty. It's because I highlight that cubit bow like it's my business. Yas, girl. Mm-hmm. I told you I like that cubit bow. I also take Champagne Pop and I take my Morphe M511 brush. It's this kind of dome-like eyeshadow brush. I love it because it has this nice tip for really precise in the corner shadows. And I'm just going to take this, dab a little bit of Champagne Pop, and work this in my inner corners. And it's just going to brighten up that eye a little bit more. See, it just, ooh, yeah, this girl. Make my eye bigger. And then, our eyes are really simple today. Don't get intimidated. It is extremely simple. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 brush. I love this brush for my transition colors. It just really buffs everything in and makes it diffuse into a really smooth color. So I'm gonna take this color called Always Sunny by MAC, one of my favorite transition colors of all times. I literally will wear this color all over my lid and call it a day. 
I love this color. So with my Sigma E40 brush, yeah, E40 brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this product and I'm just gonna work it as a transition color. So we're just gonna really focus on the crease area and just work up a little bit. Nothing intense, it's just gonna be a soft color for all the other colors to blend into nicely. The next thing we're gonna do with our eyes is we're gonna take my favorite Morphe Brushes palette. If you guys don't know what palette to get, I definitely recommend the 35N palette. This is what it looks like. It has a variety of colors. I love, love all these colors. These colors are so easy for every single day use, yet you can go a little bit deeper for those, you know, nights out. So for today, I'm going to use this color right here where my finger is pointing at. Um, and I'm going to take the same Sigma E40 brush and dab a little bit of that in. And I'm just going to work that on the outer corner of the eye. I'm not going to pull it in anymore, just the outer corner of that eye. And that's just going to give the outer V a little bit of definition. And then we're going to take the Morphe M441 brush. Love this brush. It also has that little dome at the top, so all your color can go on it as well. And I'm going to go in with that palette, the 35M palette again, and take the deepest brown color that I see right here in the corner. I'm going to take a little bit of that, and I'm just going to dab this. I'm dabbing, remember. I'm just going to dab this in the outer V, and that's just going to intensify the outer V a little bit more. I have a new blending brush that I really like and I want to share with you guys. So it's the Morphe MB23 brush. Been loving this brush for blending. It is absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm just going to blend the colors together but mostly focus and blend out the edges because we don't want any harsh lines. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my Morphe M333 brush. I really like this brush for highlighting and really getting in that corner under my, the arc of my brows to highlight. I'm going to go in with this color. Ooh, look at you trying to like the gymnastics. I'm going to take this color right here. It's um, the middle of the lighter aisle. I'm going to take it right here, and this is going to be my under brow highlighting color. And that's just going to really clean things up. So I'm just going to dab first under the arc of my brow, because that's where most of the product is going to go. And then I'm going to dab it to the sides of my brow and work it in a little bit right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop on some lashes. By the way, I mentioned this in my last makeup tutorial. I told you guys I don't mess with the bottom part of my eye because, look, I barely have eyelashes. And if I use any color there, it's just going to smudge, smear, and make a big mess. But if you have beautiful eyes, don't abandon that bottom part of your lash. Pop a little mascara on the bottom of your lashes and then take one of the browns that we used earlier and just take a smudging brush and really smudge that in and you're going to have this beautiful goddess bronzy goddess eyeball look. It's going to be so pretty. So I'm going to go in with my current favorite lashes. I'm so obsessed and they've been out of stock and they just went back in stock. So go ahead and go and get these. These are the Lily Lashes Mikonos Lashes. I've been using them for a while. They're so fluffy and pretty, and they just pull this look together. I absolutely love it. Today I'm gonna line my lips with the MAC lip liner called Soar. It's like a deep pink mauve color. I'm overdrawing my lips just a little bit today. Um, First, I'm going to line my lips exactly the way that they are. So I'm just going to follow the line of my lips. And then I'm going to overdraw it. And what overdrawing means is you're just going to pass your natural lip line just a little bit. Or you can stop wherever you feel comfortable with. For me, um, my bottom one is fuller than my top lip. So for the bottom, I don't really exaggerate it that much for but for my upper lip, I like to round out the edges of my upper lip a little bit more and that gives me this very full lips, uh, lip look. In the picture, I did use 1995, which is this deep um, color right here. It's a very pretty color. Um, 
this matches perfectly with the lip liner. It goes perfectly together. However, Gerard Cosmetics did come out with a brand new color and I really want to use it today so I hope you guys don't mind instead of using 1995. I'm going to use this one right here and it's called Vintage Rose. I think Vintage Rose is going to look very nice on top of this darker color because since it's lighter it's really going to give your lips a little bit more of a pout. Last but not least, we're going to set our face with the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I'm just going to bathe myself in that and that is it for our look.